How's it going everyone? My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. We teach go-getters how to own their own lifestyle through a concept called infinite banking. And today what we're going to discuss is what is the difference between a direct recognition versus a non-direct recognition company. So before we get into any of that information, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like this video. So when we talk about direct versus non-direct recognition companies, we're talking about how the loan is recognized and how your, dis your distributions of dividends are paid. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna break both of those down for you so that you know, but the main thing that we wanna make sure you understand is what is a dividend. Mm -hmm. So a dividend basically in, in short definition terms is after the insurance company has paid all of their expenses for the year, whatever is left over is returned back to the insurance, uh, the, the policy owners, which are people like ourselves. Mm -hmm. So every single year there is something called a dividend that can be dispersed, but it's not guaranteed. Right. So uh, let's start with a direct recognition uh, company. So it's exactly how it sounds. That means they are recognizing that you have a loan against your insurance policy. Mm -hmm. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna slightly adjust the dividend that you're able to earn um, because you have a loan against it. Correct. And then on the other hand, a non-direct recognition company doesn't recognize that you have a loan and everyone is paid the same dividend disbursement. Right. Now, the reason why we did this topic today is because we've been getting questions about what is the difference between a non-direct versus direct recognition, which means you're doing your research, which is amazing. Yeah. But one thing I would like to let you know is that's the least um, of your worries when it comes to choosing a company to utilize for your uh, banking needs. Correct. Yeah, because to, to that example, a lot of people are like, oh no, I have a direct recognition company. I want to change everything. Mm -hmm. And we just say pump your brakes for a little bit because there's some other things that we want you to consider first. Yeah, it's, it's just a slight difference in the dividend. It's not even in a, uh, enough to really make a difference. Yeah, it, because what you really want to make sure is first and foremost, how long has your insurance company been a, uh, around? Mm -hmm. And secondly, how long have they been paying dividends? Mm -hmm. Those are probably the first two factors that we want to make sure you consider before even thinking about is this company direct versus non-direct recognition. Yeah, and also um, is your interest rate, what is your interest rate first of all mm -hmm. and is it a fixed or variable uh, interest rate? Yeah, and we're talking about the loan. The loan, The yes. interest rate for the loan that you have. Right, because uh, again, we'll, the infinite banking is a concept of borrowing from your insurance policy and utilizing for your uh, banking needs. So you're going to be taking loans against your insurance policy. So you want to make sure that your interest rate isn't like eight or nine percent because your dividend is only going to be around four or five percent depending on the company that you decide to choose. Correct. So make sure you really understand what type of interest rate you have, the amount, and is it fixed or variable. Correct, because if you're dealing with a, and I'm just putting an example out there, so what I'm saying is like if you have a non-direct recognition company, some people may favor that because they're thinking, oh, my dividends aren't affected. Mm -hmm. But if they're charging you 9%, on your loan really doesn't matter <laughs> we <laughs> it doesn't matter at that point so we want to make sure that you understand these things so again just to reiterate before you even go down that path of is this company when you're shopping for loan or for policies is this company direct versus non-direct first think about how long have they been around mm -hmm. how long have they pay, been paying dividends and what is the interest rate on outstanding loans exactly so once you figure those out then let's go back to see is it direct or non-direct um, because we want to make sure that you at least uh, make sure you understand those three points first. Yes, uh, there's some really strong companies that are both direct and non-direct, so again, it's the least of your work. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And the other thing to take into consideration is this is really advanced insurance information that we're talking about. So when we got this uh, this question, it was like, yes, people are, are learning and they want to take their insurance knowledge to the next level. So yes. kudos to you guys. Uh, so with that, thank you guys so much for the opportunity to share this information with you today. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that you continue to stay educated and informed of what is going on within your financial journey. So be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at, at wealthnation.io. Yes, and remember, keep it simple. Mm -hmm. And of course, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.